So I was running down the list of new Windows 11 features to demonstrate for you here on my YouTube channel and I came across the widgets entry and I grimaced because how am I supposed to feign excitement about something I will undoubtedly never use? Uh, and that I decided, of course, don't feign anything for your YouTube viewers because they wouldn't appreciate that. So, yeah, let's be straight up. Straight up, now tell me when... Do oh, I just had a flashback there to a, I think, 1990s Paula Abdul song. Anyways, here's the deal. Uh, the widgets feature, when I went to demonstrate it for you here, stopped working. Yeah, that was moments ago, actually. Uh, this is the widgets button. Okay, see it highlight there at the on the taskbar. This is the new widgets button for us. And when I clicked it, the widgets attempted to function, and then the widgets button went away, and all signs of the widget behavior vanished from my Windows 10. This includes going into settings, and going to the personalization area and coming down here to the taskbar settings, see this widgets on and off uh, toggle here for displaying the widgets on the taskbar. Notice chat was displayed by default and I turned that off because I ain't going to be doing that. So don't want to even look at that icon. Uh, so anyways, even this widgets was gone. So this is clearly a troubled feature in my build. Uh, the feature is literally disappearing from sight and then on a reboot reappearing. What state I'm at now with it is the widgets just don't work. So I can tap on this button all I like and no widget behavior. So you're probably thinking right now, why the hell did you record a video, Anthony? And uh, let me show you what's supposed to happen. So it's this real slick design of the translucent, is that the right word? Background and uh, transparent, I don't know. Uh, so yeah, there's that cool background and then these little widgets that are going to bring you to-do list information if that's your thing, uh, stock watch lists if that's your thing, it will populate it initially uh, using AI. Well, come on, how hard is that going to be, you know, for them to do? I mean, geographic location is used as the basis for weather. Um, and then you can go in and add and customize here. This is just not a feature that I'm going to use, uh, you know, there was news and interests, I think, in Windows 10. Uh, there's similar functionality in the Mac OS. I just don't use any of my PCs, uh, laptops, desktops, you name it, even tablets. I don't use them for this kind of information. For me personally, all the widgets that I crave are on my phone. And that's where I know to, you know, use them. And I, you know, that's, that's my deal. Anyways, uh, once I can actually run them, who knows, you know, can Microsoft convince me that I'm going to start doing something in an OS? <laughs> Notice I'm, I just had to try it, right? To see if it came alive while we've been chatting. But, uh, yeah, I, uh, they may prove me wrong here, but I certainly flip and doubt it because, you know, photos, all, all the examples of widgets that I've seen, not a one will help me. Well, anyways, now I'm just rambling, so I'll stop the video now. And I do want to end with thank you so much for subscribing and supporting my channel. It's so cool. All right, until the next video, enjoy your build of Windows 11, with or without widgets.